Whatever happened to our friend that got deported to Puerto Rico or wherever? Uh, that would be Panama. Panama. And Chris. Because <laughs> he's Panamanian. Panamanian. That's what it was. He's, he's from Panama. He's, he's Panamanian. Pan- Panamanian. Yeah, Chris. Yeah. His last name is Artuduaga. Well, Chris Artuduaga. Yeah, I'm friends with him on Facebook. Not sweet. Open it, you dude. How are you? Fucking trying, dude. He's already full, I guess. He told me I should go down there, but, you know, <laughs> talked about going down there once. Right. He was telling me how uh, a little bit of money goes a long way down there, and the freaking all the girls are gorgeous. And yeah. yeah, but how much money do you make down there? Well, I mean, it depends. If you speak English, then you can get a better job than a lot of jobs. The fact that he speaks... Uh, I think it's is it, I think it's Spanish down there. I honestly I forgot. I think it's I think it's Spanish though. Um, yeah, and he also speaks fluent English. So, so the, he's bilingual, so he's able to get like really nice jobs down there. Like he's had a couple different translator jobs and stuff like that. You know what I mean? Nice. <clears throat> what did he say? He said you're fat. <laughs> An asshole. <clears throat> Yeah, he actually worked as like a medical translator for a little while. He had to take a special, like, uh, basically kind of like almost like a nursing course, like a basic medical course kind of thing. So he understood, you know, like basic, you know, uh, medical terminology and shit like that. So that way he could properly translate. I must have fell into some water or something. Freezy water. Look, your T1000 in it. Oh, God. First the lava. The and Terminator then, references. Then are the off. nitroglycerin. I mean, then the. the, the <laughs> nitroglycerin. Hasta the Vista. Yeah. This game's Terminator references are off the chain. <laughs> Especially that time I fell off the chain <laughs> into the lava. <laughs> I'll be back. I know now why you cry, but <laughs> I now you understand know. why you cry. <laughs> it's something I can never do. It's something I can never do. He jumps in the lava. Yeah, <laughs> like, that was weird. <laughs> so where were you giving Chris a ride to when he got picked up and deported? I actually, yeah, it was. Um, <laughs> I gave him, a, believe it or not, I gave him a ride over to his uh, parole officer. <laughs> He had to freaking, uh, which was the dumbest thing again, it's like, just because he's from a fucking other country, you know what I mean? Like, he'd been a United States citizen for, like, most of his life, <laughs> but he wasn't from freaking America, so, like, he had, uh, I don't remember why, but he had gotten arrested for something in Virginia, uh, not, uh, for in Florida before he moved up here, yeah. and he was on probation, and, uh, I've just, the whole situation was so weird, like, he's on probation, Already, you know what I mean? Which implies that he had been sentenced already, you know what I mean? Yeah. But, because, again, he wasn't a, you know, he was a foreign national, or whatever, you know what I mean? Like, you know, from another country, they ended up deciding because he had that friggin' violation to deport him. But, like, the same thing that he's, like, going to probation for is the same thing that he was like, you know what, let's just friggin' deport him. Let's just make up, th- let's just make this decision up, like, a year and a half later. Yeah. Justice is slow. But it's fair. Like, <laughs> like, if that was an issue, like, that should have been, like, the judge's call, you know, that was made way back when they, and, like, instead of probation, we're deporting you. <laughs> so, like, yeah, I dropped him off to just see his parole officer, which was supposed to take, like, you know, like, 15 minutes. And all of a <laughs> sudden, like, two officers come to my window, and they're like, uh, we're taking him. <laughs> and I'm like, what? And I see, like, another... You know, no, one officer came to my window, and two other officers were escorting him <clears> to a car. I see him, them putting him in the back of a car, and the other officer comes over to my, you know, window and taps, and he's like, you know, yeah, we're taking him. And I'm like, what? And they're like, yeah, we're taking him. He <laughs> asked me to let you know, so you weren't waiting here for him. And I'm like, what? <laughs> uh, okay. This beam comes from the sky and, like, picks him up in the space. <laughs> Yeah, no explanation, no, like... We're taking him. You know, yeah, just, just we're taking him. <laughs> oh, I just got some haste ability, whatever the, <clears throat> that is. Don't worry, we'll make him stronger, faster. <laughs> A better hunter. Yeah, it was so friggin' messed up, Run. dude. <laughs> the whole situation. And then on top of that, I'm just like, I don't know what's going on, you know what I mean? Like, they didn't weren't like, oh, hey, we're deporting him. Or, you know, we're taking him into custody for blah. They're just, we're taking him, is literally all they said to me. 
So, like, I don't know, you know, I mean, like, I assumed, okay, well, they're letting me know. They must be informing his mother, you know what I mean? And then all of a sudden, like, hours later, that night, his mother calls me. And I was like, have you heard from Chris? <laughs> and I'm like, what? They haven't... I figured they would have given him a phone call, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. at the, if they weren't going to call you, I figured at the very least, you know, he's being arrested in one way, shape, or form or another, then he would get a phone call and he could call you and let you know what's going on. I'm like, yeah, they they took him. And she's like, what do you mean they took him? I'm like, I don't know. They took him. That's what they told me. That's what I'm now telling you. They took him. He's now an X-File. <laughs> and she's like, I, I just had a bad feeling. Like, so, somehow I knew something was wrong. Like, I had a bad feeling. And I'm like, yeah, I don't know. I just, I, I would have called and let you know if they weren't going to let you know, but I figured he would have got a phone call, and now I feel like a jerk. <laughs> Just sitting around for hours knowing what his mother didn't, you know what I mean? <laughs> like I'm keeping that information from her or something. <laughs> the whole situation was screwed up. <clears throat> and then on top of that, like he ended up, so apparently he ended up uh, like, first he went and he got brought down to like, uh, I think he went to like the Rockland jail for the, the night. And then the next day they took him down to like Portland <laughs> for like a couple of days or like a week or two, I think it was. And then he ended up going to a federal prison in Massachusetts, <laughs> where he was there for like two or three months before they finally actually ended up deporting him. <laughs> Missed it. Yeah, because again, the system works so slowly and fairly, you know how it is, you know. <laughs> that he had to sit in a federal prison, it's which... going to take some time. <laughs> which, I mean, because when he finally ended up getting to Panama, like, he called me, like, within a couple of days of getting there, you know what I mean? Like... But it was months later, you know, since I had seen him. And he's, you know, we ended up talking on the phone for a while. And he's like, yeah, dude, like, I was in friggin', like, a fit, not just, like, not just a jail, not just a prison, but, like, a federal prison. Since I was being deported, they had me in a federal prison in Massachusetts with, like, legit, you know, like, murderers <laughs> and serial killers and freaking like, mobsters and, like, like hardcore freaking criminals. He's like, I was scared to death. <laughs> He's like, and I was there for, like, three months. He's like, That's before bullshit. they finally freaking deported me. And he's like, it would have been one thing if they just deported me. But, like, Jesus. He's like, he's like, and uh, he's like, you know, another thing, too, is, like, you know, it wasn't like, hey, you're a hor horrible freaking person we're deporting you. It was just like, you know, this is the way the system works, so you're getting deported. But the fact that, he's like, you know, the fact that I got put in that freaking, you know, federal prison for months, he's like, I felt like I was a, you know. Like, I was dirt. Like, they, he's like, I don't feel like they, they didn't treat me like a person. He's like, you know, I was just scum to them. Yeah. He's like, just because I'm not freaking from this country and because I violated a small crime and months, you know, almost, a, you know, like a year, year and a half later, they decide, you know what, we should just deport him because he's not from here. Let's just get rid of him. <laughs> so that's why he decided, because he's like, he, like, he's like, technically I can fight and I can overturn it and I can come back. He's like, but... I don't want to anymore. Frig your country. <laughs> He's like, you guys treated me like a friggin' like a like I was wasn't even a person. Left in America. <laughs> I was like, that sucks, dude. I totally understand though. Like, you know, they treated you like crap. Like, why would you want to come back? Well, you we get treated like sheep. Because at first I was like, oh yeah, man, come like, cause he was an awesome, dude, man. I would have loved for him to come back, but. He's living a better life down there than he ever would have up here, especially in Maine. I don't know why the hell his mom decided to move to Maine. Hmm. All the podongs. Yeah, and again, the fact that he's bilingual, like he gets, you know, he has a lot of good opportunities down there. And every time, I think he's. Last time I checked, I want to say he was, like, engaged or was with some girl that he'd been serious with for a while. But for a while, like, yeah, like every other week on Facebook, he had some freaking hot chick on there. You know what I mean? Like, dating this super hottie, dating this super hottie. Dating, I'm like, Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> I need to go to Panama. <laughs> And again, on Facebook, most of his posts used to always be in English, but he's been, like, more and more Spanish, you know, like, with his posts, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. just, you know, being down there for so long now. No. They knocked on the window and were like, we're taking him. She'd been like, not on my watch. <laughs> <laughs> well, between you and me and anyone else that watches this, uh, this show, what was super interesting is... Um, he actually had some pot on him. <laughs> like, 
But he's like, oh shit, I can't go see my parole officer with this bag on me. So he shoved it somewhere in my car. You know what I mean? <laughs> and I forgot all about it. Like, I, because I wasn't even paying attention. And he wasn't like, hey, I'm leaving this in here. You know what I mean? He just, like, shoved it in my car somewhere. <laughs> so, like, the officers came to my window. And I didn't even know. But it was like three or four days later, I find this bag he shoved in my car. And I'm like, <laughs> oh shit, this is left over from Chris. <laughs> and then I'm like, well, I guess Chris doesn't need this. So, like, someone was, like, hanging out, you know, with me. And they're like, man, we should get some some freaking weed. And I'm like, actually, there's, like, a bag shoved in my car. <laughs> someone should probably smoke it before it freaking dries out and goes bad. <laughs> no crap. I'm like, yeah, you know, Chris left it. Like, oh, man, Chris. No, I'm like, yeah, I know. Man. Like, we should smoke it in his honor. I'm like, I guess so. <laughs> Or any excuse, really. Right? <laughs> we should smoke up his shit in honor of him. Oh, in honor of Tuesday. Oh. <laughs> so that was pretty fucking We funny. only get one Tuesday a week. <laughs> yeah, there was another time where I was hanging out, and he was hanging out over at my place, and uh, we were playing uh, Black Ops Zombies, and he's, like, smoking up a storm, and my mom just randomly stopped by and she's like have you been smoking weed and i'm like no <laughs> the whole place reeks of it you know what i mean like chris <laughs> was smoking in my apartment like right in the living room like five feet from where she's standing yeah but she's like have you been smoking weed and i'm like no and got all like i got kind of like defensive and pissy about it. i'm like no and she's like uh well then why does it smell like weed in here and i didn't want to like throw my friend under the bus you know what i mean like chris has been smoking <laughs> <laughs> You know, that kind of thing. Where I was just like, I don't know. And she's like, well, it smells like weed in here. And I'm like, well, I haven't been smoking. And she's like, I don't care if you have. And I'm like, well, I haven't. <laughs> and you know what? It's my house anyways. <laughs> and she's like, yeah, I don't care. You know, like, I'm just saying, you know, it smells like freaking weed in here. And <laughs> well, I want to get the new weed scented air fresheners. It's my business. And I'm like, well, I don't know why it does. I was burning incense, I guess. <laughs> Maybe that's possibly an excuse. You're like, so take that woman and you shove her. And she's like, this is what weed does to people. <laughs> <laughs> weed instantly makes you a crazy person. <laughs> should probably follow these objective markers instead of backtracking for no reason. <laughs> oh, you're smoking too much weed over there. She's telling stories. Whoa. I'm telling a story. Well. About death. Now they'll put you in the right and dismemberment. <laughs> now so you can equip up to three runes at a time. Try different combinations to try to find your playstyle. Now somebody's gonna have to like pick up your body parts and shit. Right. They're way down there in that pit. I should send a message to Chris. I haven't talked to Chris in a while. <coughs> like, hey, we were talking about you on a let's play. Oh yeah, by the way, let's play now. Yeah, you should tell him. I have freaking five weapon upgrades. Why haven't you told him about the channel yet? Because he probably doesn't give a crap. <laughs> Dude. He's living the dream down in Panama. No, tell him to watch us play video games instead. God. <laughs> you have removes five? The, oh, man. Yeah, it removes the loading time for an explosion. That's pretty good. Now you're just like, bum, 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 bum. do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. Do it. <laughs> Your, your loading time is what sucks about that gun. So you're like, boom. Well, if it used to be that, you know, reduced, there was the recharge time between explosive shots. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Now I've gotten rid of the reload time and the loading time. So you get the master. Oh, wait. You have to get 20 direct hits on him. Yeah, what did he do? Though? I'll have that done in a minute. It'll spawn custard bomb. Custard bombs that do additional damage. Luster. Getting a direct hit with an oh, yeah, oh, mastery challenge. Get 20 ups. Uh. Makes me think of worms when I hear cluster bomb. Of course, I'm out of ammo with my shotgun at the moment, but as soon as I have ammo. It doesn't have to be with the. Ex I think it has to be with the explosive round, doesn't it? Yeah. Never mind, I'm drunk. <laughs> <laughs> Jim knows not of what he speaks. You've been here before. Yes, I have, sir. Yes, I have. Oh, slip. <laughs> oh, not. that's the ice that I'm not supposed to touch. I fell backwards into it before, <laughs> so I never really saw it. I thought that was just like a concrete floor I could walk on. <laughs> I was like, it feels weird that I just jumped over a pathway. <laughs> oh, well, this looks like cement to me. Yep. Now you froze your balls off. 
Get your ass to Mars. <laughs> get your ass off the floor. Get get your ass to Mars. Get get your ass. Hey everybody, to Mars. freeze. <laughs> Everybody free. See, there's there's never a situation where you can't quote Arnold Schwarzenegger. <laughs> it's going to be a cold day in hell. <laughs> and spring box, springboarding. It's going to be cold. <clears throat> you ram my fist in your stomach, break your goddamn spine. <laughs> 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 What the fuck did I do wrong? <laughs> I once watched. Holy <laughs> I once saw a movie. <laughs> Is that the one where he's like, they grab him and he's like, "What the fuck did I do wrong?" Yeah. Uh. Yeah, it has to be totally cool. You sure it's not Running Man? No. That's why they shot him in the, the rope or the net thing in the neck or whatever. Running Man. Well, Running Man, you he know, had... he's ac falsely accused of a crime, <laughs> and so you could easily be like, What the hell did I do wrong? <laughs> he had to split. <laughs> Shotgun shells. Yeah, I once watched Total Recall at 1.5 speed. Well, you can hear, still hear the volume. It's pretty sick. <laughs> What the fuck did I do wrong? <laughs> All the action scenes were hilarious. <laughs> I was like, Total Recall's good movie. Total Recall. Easy with your mining beam, douche. Destroy the facility. They do, they do take a long time to introduce new enemies. No wonder it's gonna take 15 hours. <laughs> Damn, Imp! <laughs> Took the shot for that dude. Damn it. <laughs> I thought you got rid of the loading time. Yeah, like I said, I got rid of the loading time and the recharge time, but still there's still time. What the fuck? <laughs> Doing my expected better. <laughs> Ow. Maybe Ouch. if I can get him to run through here. What? Barrels. Punch the ground near you. Learn this move from Jax. <laughs> Trying to slide him in. Man, I'm bad at this. <laughs> He's down. Eat that nemesis. <laughs> It'll just mutate stronger. What is that? Stop. The hell smash me, smash, smash. Without the filters. No, Megatron! I could never choose between red or blue slushies. I'm more valuable than I can possibly imagine in your face. <laughs> yeah, my mom says I'm really valuable. She says I'm her special little boy. <laughs> what the what hell? What are you doing flying all around? He's crop dusted. <laughs> Look at him crop dusted in an open house. It's just graceful. Wee! You don't use grenades, you douche. I really don't. You're the worst grenadier ever. For nothing. You'd be a better grenadier, would you? 
Sorry. 